Right, it's heavy day for Boominated TV. I've bumped into the main man, Richard Blackwoods. Hey, brother, how you doing? For this, I just, I just wanted to ask you. So anyway, so I'm a massive fan of yours. Thank you. I've been from day one, from like when you had your show and stuff, and your and your and your tune, your hit tune and stuff, and that you know, you've been killing it from from day one. Thank you. You and um, on the radio. Yes. I know. What's, what's the other guy's name? Cat. Cat. I love Cat. I was out on holiday with Cat. Funny enough. Really? Yeah, I was out on holiday. Yeah, we we done um, we done a week, weekend. I was out with him. Okay. Yeah. okay. So yeah. So basically, as I said, I know you, I've, I've been a big fan for you day one, Thank you. and I just want to know, like, so so EastEnders, you smashed it in EastEnders. Thank you. So what's next for you? Uh, do you know what? I, I got a film that's out now called Welcome to Curiosity that just came out maybe two weeks ago. Uh, besides that, uh, I've got some things that I can't speak about towards the end of the year, but Fair really big. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, basically, I'm just I'm just working. I'm just working. I just done a play called. Frankie and Johnny in Newcastle as well. So, by God's grace, I'm, I'm just working. Wicked. That's what it's all about. It's all about keeping busy. Mm. So, anyway, so you you, 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 you follow the football? You woke up? Some of it. I watched the England game, obviously, the other day with uh, Columbia. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. How do you feel? How was that? That was a bit, a bit of a nerve-wracking game, wasn't it? Um, do you know what? To be honest with you, I think England deserved to win that game. I think they played really well. Yeah. Right, I think Colombia was fouling like crazy in the first half. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, not even on on the slide. They were doing it in front of the ref. Blatant. Right. Do you know what I mean, I thought it was well out of order. Mm. Right. Fouling and then look at the ref like, what have we done wrong? Yeah. Right. And obviously they were doing it to key players. Yeah. Right. Do you know what I mean to rumble them and stuff? And I wasn't feeling that. It was. Yeah. You expect certain things, but after a while it was actually foul after foul after foul. Yeah. And when he headbutted the guy. Yeah. Right, and then he got a yellow card for that. I thought that was well out of order. He should have got a red card for that. Yeah. But any which way. Because he had butted him twice, he had butted him in his chest, then he had butted him in his head, right? But any which way. So, um, but I think the second half, just before Colombia scored, Colombia deserved to score that goal because England gave it up, right? Yeah. I mean, I think they, 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 they were, their defence was tight, yeah. and then the guy took the wrong, he turned the wrong way, right? Yeah. And as soon as he turned the wrong way, he was like, he just gave it up, and I was like, and I knew it, as soon as he turned, I went, he gave up the ball, right? So, um, I think England learnt from that game in terms of, they played a strong game, first strong half, their defence was strong, and if they kept that all the way through, it would have been a 1-0 victory. It would have been 1-0, but you yeah. know, I think after, after, game, game, after that goal, we was, it was deflated, I didn't think we were going to get back into it. No, and do you know what, I, no, to be honest with you, I thought that England was going to bring it back. Well, yeah. I thought, obviously, we, I knew like, when they played for the extra time and then it was still 1-0, mm. I thought, okay, it's going to be down to like penalties now. Yeah. And obviously, I think they knew from this point onwards, if we can recover this back, we know what we need to do, especially going up against Sweden. Right, do you know what I mean? So, I, as I say, I personally think they deserved to win that game. I was very, very happy. So, talking about Sweden, how do you think that's going to go? Well, I used to live in Sweden, so I've got allegiance to Sweden as well, because I grew up in Sweden. However, I was born here. I want England to win. I think they, I think if they can beat Colombia, they can beat Sweden. That's yeah. my personal opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, think I, think, I think Colombia are better side than Sweden. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. Right? Um, I think that... Um, so, I think as long, if they do what they did, against Colombia, yeah. they'll be fine. Yeah. That's personally, and I personally think they'll win. Not only will they be fine, but they'll win. If they start slacking, right? You can't slack against Sweden. If you slack against a little bit, you're gonna lose. So I think that, that second half for them, if I was their manager, I'd say, listen, you saw what that second half did when we gave up the ball. If we keep it like the first half, we're nice. Yeah. And I reckon they'll beat Sweden. Okay, do you have another thing as well? I'm not being an Arsenal fan. What, what team do you support? Ah, not Arsenal. <laughs> What? My son's sport. Oh, Come on. Yeah, nah. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. <laughs> my, my son supports Arsenal. I'm a Man United supporter. Man United? Yeah. It's Cot Cotley Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is because nobody in Manchester supports Man United, do they? No, 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 no. no. Man it's only the Man City supporters yeah, that actually support Man City. Manchester people right. that support Man City. All right, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, so, um, you know, everybody says, why do you support Manchester United and you're not from yeah, Manchester? Yeah, why do you support Manchester United? No, but remember, I say to everybody, yeah. people from Manchester don't support Man United. Yeah. They support Man City. So most of their supporters are from outside of Manchester anyway. You're like a glory hunter. No, because like I said, right? If people, were, if you could say to me that people in Manchester support Man United, okay. then I'm a glory hunter. Yeah. But you know they don't. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, and, and you know, if it's Man United against Man City, yeah. Manchester supporting who? Man City. There you go. Yeah. Right. So that's why I say. So most of the most of most of the London supporters or from Essex or surrounding the, the South, they they're usually because they won a few titles in the eighties and the nineties. No, but no, I think Man United have always proved, regardless of whether they win or lose, that they're a Premiership team. They're a hard team. Yeah. I think that they've win, lose or draw, they've always maintained a yeah. level of excellence, and I think yeah, that's yeah. the reason why we support them. Fair enough. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, listen, we're going to wrap up. Listen, thank you, Richard Blackwood, mate. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Lovely. Boom Later TV. Boom.